we have six ingredients here and compared to Gatorade, which has you know dozens and dozens of different chemicals, who knows what else is in there. This is so much healthier for you just from a removing negative component perspective. Uh, so we have coconut water here, which is mainly for the potassium and the electrolyte content. This is where we are getting the electrolytes. So if you want more potassium, if you want more magnesium, uh, you want to go with the coconut water. This stuff, I've had it on its own, it's not good. So we're adding, you know, apple juice, the sweetener, the vitamin C, the lemon juice to hopefully offset the taste of this coconut water that we need as the only real natural source of high electrolytes. We got two cups of coconut water. And then you want some flavored juice. I have this on hand. It's a biodynamic organic apple juice and it is pasteurized. So if you want something really special, maybe get some grapes or oranges and juice them yourself. Uh, the thing is that raw fruit juice is a bit harder on the stomach than pasteurized fruit juice. So keep that in mind with this as a performance drink if you're going to have it you know, before you go do something. You don't want your stomach cramping up. So it's equal parts coconut water and apple juice. I just emptied both of the containers out because they happen to have the same amount in each one just so I don't waste it. So for a bit of flavor, we're gonna squeeze in three lemons. All right, this picture I think is cracked, so we're gonna have to switch over. I was wondering why this was leaking all over the counter. All right, so when you have an electrolyte mix, you want equal parts potassium and sodium. So you want a decent pinch of salt in there. To counteract the high sugar content, we need antiscorbutic properties, and I'm using ascorbic acid Stuff like ace oil, cherry powder, camel camel powder. There's a lot of anti-nutrients in those fruit powders. And to me, this is a lot easier on the liver. So you want maybe a quarter teaspoon of ascorbic acid per serving that you're gonna put in here. So there's seven cups here. We got the three and a half cups of coconut water, three and a half cups of apple juice, and that's quite a bit of sugar already. So we want maybe four tablespoons of flextrose for this whole batch. And that matches the sugar content of Gatorade. The electrolytes bring out the flavor in this so much that you just want to keep drinking it. It has that like energy drink tinge to it. Well, that's my version of Gatorade for you guys. And if you did that with fresh squeezed orange juice, uh, grape juice, or like one of the actual Gatorade flavors, I think it would taste just the same. Your kids would love it. Anyone that likes energy drinks would love it. And keep in mind, this is not like a, you know, drink this, then go sit at a desk. Uh, the sugar, the glucose content, the electrolyte content of that is so high. You don't want to drink too much of it at once and you want to be working out or sweating or after you work out or sweat, then you could drink some of this. Uh, but if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you guys can go to frank where you'll see uh, Frankie's Range Foods. We have the Flextrose available. Uh, we have salt available on Frankie's Range Foods as well and a variety of other products that you guys can check out. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.